anterior interosseous nerve. The anterior interosseous nerve is a famous nerve because this nerve allows the patient to be able to do the OK sign. When the nerve is injured or affected, the patient will not be able to do the OK sign as you see in this picture. This is the typical pinch attitude associated with an anterior interosseous nerve injury. The anterior interosseous nerve branches from the median nerve of the brachial plexus. The anterior interosseous nerve arises from the median nerve about 4 to 6 cm distal to the elbow, which is approximately one third of the way down the forearm. The anterior interosseous nerve exits from the anterolateral aspect of the median nerve and runs between the radius and the ulna on the interosseous membrane, between and below the muscles of the flexor digitorum profundus and the flexor pollicis longus. The anterior interosseous nerve innervates three muscles in the forearm. The flexor pollicis longus. The anterior interosseous nerve supplies the flexor digitorum profundus for the index and the long fingers, or for the lateral half. It also supplies innervation to the pronator quadratus muscle. The flexor digitorum profundus has a dual innervation, the lateral part from the anterior interosseous nerve and the medial part from the unknown nerve. The anterior interosseous nerve passes dorsal to the pronator quadratus with the anterior interosseous artery and provides innervation to the volar wrist capsule. Terminal branches of the anterior interosseous nerve innervates the carpal joint capsule. The integrity of the anterior interosseous nerve is tested by performing the OK sign or the circle sign. Ask the patient to make the OK sign by touching the tips of the index finger and the thumb together. The integrity of the anterior interosseous nerve allows flexion of the distal pharynx of the thumb and the index finger. When the anterior interosseous nerve is injured or affected, the patient will not be able to bring together the distal pharynx of the thumb and the index finger. The patient will not be able to do the OK sign. Testing the integrity of the anterior interosseous nerve by touching together the middle finger and the distal pharynx of the thumb is not reliable. With injury of the nerve, there will be a loss of motor function and there will be no loss of sensory function. It is a motor nerve, not a sensory nerve. There will be aching in the anterior forearm. Treatment, usually observation with EMG testing. In an anterior interosseous nerve entrapment, the median nerve conduction study will be normal. However, the needle EMG of the anterior interosseous innervated muscles will be abnormal. Exploration and release of the nerve can be considered if no improvement in the nerve function is seen in 46 months. Differential diagnosis. Unable to do the OK sign may also result from a high median nerve injury. The presence of sensory symptoms indicates a median nerve injury. How about Froman's sign? OK sign is different from Froman's sign. Froman's sign is performed to determine the presence of an unknown nerve injury. When pinching a piece of paper between the thumb and the index finger, the thumb IP joint will flex if the adductor pollicis muscle is weak.
This muscle is innervated by the ulnar nerve, and with ulnar nerve injury, the adductor pollicis muscle becomes weak, and the patient cannot adduct the thumb. The flexor pollicis longus muscle substitutes for this movement by flexing the thumb. So bending the thumb when pinching a piece of paper is a sign of an ulnar nerve injury. Another sign can occur with anterior thoracic nerve injury is called the benediction sign or the benedictine sign. If you ask the patient with anterior thoracic nerve injury to make a fist, the first and the second fingers will have difficulty in flexing while the other digits will flex. This position of the hand is similar to the position taken during a hand blessing. The benediction sign is different from the under claw hand, which occurs due to damage to the under nerve and is seen when attempting to extend all the digits. You will find that the fourth and the fifth fingers take a flexed position that is called the ulnar claw hand. Important points. It may also be differentiated from acute brachial plexus neuritis and the patient may have pain in the affected extremity. The Martin Gruber anosmosis occurs through a communicating nerve branch between the median nerve and the ulnar nerve in the forearm. The connection carries motor nerve fibers and it can go from the anterior thoracic nerve to the ulnar nerve. The Martin Gruber anosmosis nerve fibers are most often of an efferent nature contributing the motor innervation of the hand through the ulnar nerve. The axons will leave the median nerve or the anterior thoracic nerve crossing through the forearm to join the main trunk of the ulnar nerve innervating the intrinsic muscles of the hand. It can be confusing clinically and also in an EMG. It is a confusing presentation with clinical implications. It can be a good explanation for difficult challenges, especially in the differential diagnosis. If the communicating nerve arises from the anterior interosseous nerve, then a patient with an anterior interosseous nerve palsy may present with hand intrinsic weakness, normally supplied by the ulnar nerve.